I got that red lip classic thing that you like. Oh yeah. Friends of the world, hello, hello, hello. I hope you are ready to have five minutes together. We are actually gonna be talking about something that I was talking about recently with a friend, and I guess it's just about bodies in general, specifically women's bodies and our bodily functions that are just totally natural and totally things that we should not feel ashamed of. I'm going to start off this conversation with periods. This is something that's always been interesting to me because from the time before I even got my period, I was comfortable knowing that I was going to get my period. I've always been a very curious person, and I remember when I found out what a period was, that I was gonna be getting a period, I was asking questions to my dad, like, so what about this, and what about this, and what about this, and what about this? And I was really lucky to, I guess, be in an environment with him where he didn't make me feel like that was gross or something that I should be ashamed of and just talk to me about it. You know, maybe a man will not know as much as a woman, but because he was my father, I think it was good for him to tell me as much as he knew, even though he himself never had a period, but to just make me feel comfortable and to share as much knowledge as he possibly could with me. When I first got my period, I cried, mostly because I was just so shocked by it. And I looked at my pants and I was like, whoa, there's a lot of blood down there. I woke up one morning and it was just like, hello. But I knew that I was totally fine, that this was supposed to happen. I knew that it was coming because I was older than most of my friends. I was almost 16 when I got my period for the first time. I don't think that people should feel embarrassed or ashamed about talking about their bodies and natural functions of their bodies, especially this too. I'm hoping that you know, in the future changes are made. So younger people especially feel more comfortable with their bodies and just the natural things that happen. You're gonna get your period. Sometimes you're gonna get it at a really inconvenient time, like boarding an airplane when you're wearing light colored pants and you don't have any supplies. So then you ask a flight attendant and you run to the bathroom and as you're pulling your pants down, someone opens the door and they see your vagina as you start your period. That is a real life story that yours truly experienced. You know, I think that I've always been pretty open in my videos about talking about pads. I personally don't feel comfortable wearing tampons and it makes me really sad when people make it seem like, oh, you don't wear tampons, that's disgusting. It's not disgusting, it's a personal preference. I'm just gonna be over here wearing a pad and it's not gonna affect anybody except myself. I think it's important for us just as human beings to try and be inclusive and make people feel comfortable. Everybody has their insecurities and why are we gonna make something that's so natural another insecurity, you know? And one of my friends actually brought up a great point too. She was saying, you know, when you're on your period and you wanna have sex with somebody, but then you feel embarrassed to tell them that you're on your period, so then you make up some other kind of excuse. It's like, why should you have to feel embarrassed? I am a woman and I have a period, so why can't I just say I'm on my period? I don't wanna have sex. Or I'm on my period and I wanna have sex. How do you feel about that? You no, know, I think it's about having a conversation and figuring out what is comfortable for you and your partner. I just thought this was something that was worth talking about because I just want you guys to know that you don't need to be ashamed of your body and its natural functions. Before you know it, you're gonna be really comfortable and you're gonna be like me, slapping those pads down on the little belt thing when you check out at a store, just like bam, on my period, yo, what's up? I'm gonna get going now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped and I hope you know that you are just a wonderful human. Speaking of wonderful humans, here's some wonderful things that wonderful humans had to say about last week's 5MFU video. Always love seeing what you guys have to say, so please leave your comments down below. I think this is a great thing to discuss. You can also tweet me on Twitter using the hashtag 5MFU, but 
Until next week, I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day. I'm gonna get going. Peace out, peace out. Kisses, kisses.